Hey guys, this is Enthos, and I want to show you guys this awesome browser-based photo editor called Photopea, shown to me by Greg on Custom Brawl Modding. It's actually a really good free alternative to Photoshop that has adjustment layers and, of course, gradient maps. So it's perfect for Brawl recolors. Uh, just for an example, I'm going to do a quick link recolor. Uh, so this is just one of his textures from Brawl. And I'm going to start off by going to the adjustment layers, choosing gradient map. And everything's black and white right now because that's what the gradient is. We'll change that in a minute, but uh, first I'm going to mask out everything except for the tunic. So just go here, this is the mask. M, uh, yeah, M uh, is the rectangle select. So just select everything that's not the tunic and do control i to invert so that'll just make the gradient map not affect anything that's not the tunic so go back to here click on the gradient map i'm just going to move it to the side and you can add a color so just click there and you can change it to whatever you want it's actually really good it's just like photoshop uh, it's really fast, you see everything in real time. So this is my preferred method of just doing recolors in general, no matter what it is. Um, so this is just a quick example. Uh, say I want to add more than one color, I can actually just add more shades, I can, I can do multiple colors. Let me move this. I can do something crazy like this, uh, if total control over the gradient. Um, say I want to do a, a purple shadow. This is obviously a really ugly example, but uh, I'll do I'll do something else. So let's do something that looks like gold. Gold is usually orange, yellow, and maybe some more orange. Totally do anything you want. Let's do a darker shade here. Yeah, see, it's awesome. Um, and obviously, if you just want a regular thing, you can duplicate this. Like a regular recolor, duplicate this, get rid of all those extra colors. Uh, you can move this around. Say I want just a good looking blue. Awesome. You can change all these uh, with the scroll wheel even for easy control just like Photoshop. All these values. If you just want to make really small changes, you don't want to use uh, this color picker. And you can edit the masking. Uh, so you want to not change uh, the threading or whatever. I want green threading still. You can use the brush tool. You can change its size. Maybe its hardness too. And just brush over it on the mask. So one more thing is that if you want to use multiple layers, say I want all of this uh, this unmasked area of the threading to be gold, then what you do is take this mask that you had uh, for the second layer, alt-click it, Control-A, Control-C, alt-click the other layer, Control-V to paste it, and invert it. Here it's not quite white, so I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. I'm going to make this a little brighter. Because I wasn't painting with uh, with white like I should have been. But then go back on here, and there you go. Now it's gold too. And so are the pants, so <laughs> probably want to go down here and mask that out. With G. 
Yoshi for the bucket tool. Switch this over, and there you go. So now we have gold threading and a blue tunic. It's really cool. I hope you guys use this. You can even you can even save the PSD and share it with other people. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.